Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I will show you this painting uh, with alcohol ink and gold leaf, step by step. So, I am uh, using glossy photo paper and the colors I am using is a uh, poppy field, botanical and rainforest. So, these three colors I will be using and the painting uh, will be made on the non-glossy side of the paper and this is about 9 inches by 12 inches and for blending I use isopropyl alcohol 91% but you could also use 99% also so first I add the poppy color in different spots and then I let it dry for some time then I add the uh, blending solution which is uh, isopropyl alcohol 91% so you can watch my video on how I do it. I use simple stuff like a, a air blower for this painting and I don't use any fancy equipments or anything. So when you make alcohol ink paintings, make sure that you are doing it in a well ventilated area and you don't want to inhale the toxic fumes uh, inside your homes. So if you are making it in a studio, uh, make sure to open all the windows so once this is dry, then I add this uh, isopropyl alcohol, I put it in a small white bottle, so it's easier for me to just uh, pour it.
and I wanted to add gold leaf so I added some glue and applying the gold leaf and one thing to remember is when you whenever you use gold leaf make sure that after the painting is dry you add a gold leaf sealant on top of that because otherwise it will lose all its shine so there is something available in the market uh, you can look it up in amazon it's called gold leaf sealer and there are lots of videos on how to use it you just need to apply it on the gold leaf area let it dry then it becomes like a sealer to add some green botanical green and rainforest so i'm putting it on the side on a wax paper because i don't want to add green directly onto my drawing paper and mess it all up so if i add keep it on the side i can just dip the back side of the brush and apply it on my paper so that's way it doesn't make a big mess on my paper so i use the back side because i don't want to ruin the bristles so back side is easy, I can just clean it up later, easily.
and I am using a fine liner marker to add some stems to this uh, painting. You can use uh, any fine liner marker that you have, don't need any specific brand or anything. But the thinner the uh, pen, the better, because otherwise it will be too thick and I like thin stems for my painting.